Japanese curry. Back to onion duty. It can look goodish. Beer is going to help. Potatoes are in, carrots are in, peppers in. The reading's hard. I tied the record. How much thicker this is. Here, look at the banchan. All right, we are making Japanese curry and definitely, yes, we use the SMB mix. I'm gonna try for the first time to do some chicken thighs. And then we've got our onion, potato, carrot, and these are some serranos. I'm gonna start off by browning the chicken in here, and then I'll keep you posted. So these guys, gonna crisp them up on both sides, and then I'm gonna hope they finish in the curry. All right, skin sticking, gonna leave these alone. When I just season with a little salt and pepper, I'll do the other side when I pull them. Bands on, so I'll speak up. Uh, skin looks goodish. Uh, we'll see how this turns out. All right, so these are browned on both sides. Four minutes on each side, I'm gonna take these out and I'm gonna put the onions in there. And then always a beer is going to help the cooking process, both the food and your sanity. Again, sponsored by the bird. And these lights are just so light. So that is a basically whole medium onion in here and basically a little oil and chicken fat. I think the recipe calls for like a half onion, but we like onions. While this goes off, and if you're wondering what that noise is, we're pressure cooking some rice. I'm gonna deal with the potatoes and carrots while these guys cook down a little bit. All right, potatoes are in, onions are cooked down. I'm gonna deal with the carrots and peppers and we'll get right back in here. Carrots are in, let's add the peppers, and then we'll add water and start boiling. All right, we've got the peppers in, those are serranos. I think I just need to add some water and we'll start boiling, we'll throw the meat back in. So that's two and three quarter cups of water in. I'm gonna go chicken back in. We usually don't eat this with meat, that's why I'm adding so little chicken, otherwise you could probably double or triple this. Actually, typically people use like steak chunks or even ground meat. And now we will wait for the water to boil. In the meantime, we'll probably just keep drinking some beers, crack open a bottle of wine. Stay tuned. All right, so this is where I've made mistakes in the past. It seems like it's boiling, but we really, really need a like a full on rolling boil because we have potatoes. Otherwise, they'll be a little crunchy. If you're into that, that's fine. But most people, myself included, are not. So I'm going to reduce to simmer and we'll be back in 15. This is where the ADD kicks in, so there's the green onions to garnish. Got our mess, got our curry cubes, got the bowls they'll be going into, and we're just waiting. While we wait, we'll look at the panjan. First off with a bottle of rote vine. And then we've got melchi, which is little baby sardines that are seasoned with sesame seeds and alcohol, I think. Our kimchi, I guess I should be opening this stuff only to close it up. So we got the kimchi, salted salted leek, and then our genyi. Um, even though it says seasoned dried radish, this is the perilla leaf marinated. Quick plug, if you are trying to get more into cooking and need or want a nice, reliable, inexpensive Dutch oven, I'll hit you with a link in the description. I absolutely love this bad boy. It's a wine for you. And a list of wine for you. Well, for you, but for everyone. Still trying to figure out how to uh, fit in the frame, fam. Tongue twister. So yeah, we've got this ramble, sorry, reading's hard, rabble red wine from Costco. Let that air out or decant what all the fancy folks are saying. Meanwhile, gonna see if Steph breaks. I mean, Steph will break the record tonight, so I'm gonna watch that happen. Go Dubs! Damn, sorry guys, he just uh, tied the record. There you see it. Quick aside, Gong freaking uh, sponsored the game last night. They must be doing real well. Timer's going off, let's get it. All right, so now we're gonna kill the heat. Actually, I need to check this. Hot, that looks pretty good, hot. And I'm gonna toss these in for five minutes. And even though these look like, you know, little chocolate pieces, just wanna kill the heat and stir these in. And not only will they give a ton of flavor, 
and sodium, probably MSG, which MSG gets a bad rap. We're MSG fans. Sorry, that was a an aside. It's gonna thicken things up. And then the last thing we're gonna check is, is the chicken done? And are the potatoes, let's see, let's just push up on a, we're just gonna let things happen. We're gonna set a five minute timer, we'll be back. The good news, the potatoes are good to go. I bit the bullet, well, bit the potato, haha. <laughs> and uh, the chicken looks good to go. I'll give an update on that, and I'm just gonna stir this for a few minutes to get it thick. All right, we're halfway into the five minutes, I hope and think you can tell like just how much thicker this is before it was a little watering like a little brothy this is like proper thick sorry ari for always saying that but man i'm getting super excited what i wanted to talk about earlier was it was a cold rainy day i understand no one has sympathy for people living in southern california but it rained all day it's cold inside power went out so this is the perfect meal that's what i was thinking about all day i'm gonna share it with y'all stay tuned all right, rice turned out okay. I think what we learned today is uh, one of the little cups from the rice thing that I'll show you in a second is probably not enough for two people. So I'm all about gadgets that, you know, are nice to have. People can measure their own rice, obviously, but this is just one button to hit it. But today we learned, hit it twice. Kitchen timer just went off. This is mad thick, which is fantastic. Got the rice in the bowls. I'm gonna dress these or, well, I'm gonna dress them with that. Then I'm gonna garnish, then we're gonna eat. This is part one, everyone gets a chicken thigh. Now let's really do it. These are the bowls, playing shadow games, apologies for that. And this is two scoops, which is an official measurement, but look, there's so much left, there'll be enough for both of us to get leftovers and then some. Let's crack some black pepper on this and take it to All the right. dining. Better look at the banchan, there's the melchi, which is little baby anchovies, they're one of my favorites, the kimchi. <laughs> I probably just got stuck. The, the, the pickled leek, and then the geni or perilla leaf. Here's Yoonji. She helped out a ton with this, so I really want her to enjoy this. I made the rice. Cheerio. She Cheerio. made so much rice. Yeah, I did. I made enough rice. Ooh, the chicken's looking good. Forgot there was chicken in here. Right, y'all. It's a potentially cooked piece of chicken. Honestly, it's probably overcooked. I doubt it's undercooked. The skin's a little weird, but what are you gonna do? First bite. I would describe it as luscious. I am getting some heat, not only because we use the extra hot packet, but Serrano's do work. And uh, I am liking the scallions on this. Mm. Just hitting the spot. Cold rainy day. Hot bowl of spicy curry with potatoes and like rice. It's just hearty. Gotta dig it. How's that chicken looking? Mm. Sus? For me, yes, but it, I took a bite of it and the bite I had looked or tasted pretty good. All right, well, this is video evidence of. Um, me saying sabotage me. if I if you die. <laughs> Sorry guys, that's not funny. Well, it's funny if she doesn't die. So let's hope for that. Oh my gosh, I, I really don't feel like dying tonight. Well, or you tomorrow. Probably die tomorrow, yeah. Yeah, but I mean I think the color so it looks pink, but I think it's actually just because it's dark meat. So I don't Oh whoa. It is. So I don't because they're chicken thighs. I don't think they're undercooked. Well have you take a bite of the curry and let me know let me get some tasting notes. I love Japanese curry. I don't know when this happened because I didn't used to like curry, but it's become one of my favorite foods because Tristan makes it all the time and they're... I think also the fact that you add serrano peppers. I just go... She always makes fun of me for drooling. She's drooling all the time now. Um, the fact that you add serrano peppers, I think, elevates it. Yeah, this is a hearty dish and uh, I'd say, especially if you uh, forego meat, it is almost foolproof. You just have to make sure you have that rolling boil. The worst thing that'll happen is your potatoes are a little starchy, which isn't great, but it's still, edible is not even the right word. Like it'll still be good, but that's kind of the only thing you need to worry about. And like set your timers, watch things. You could burn the onions or something in the beginning. Highly, highly, highly recommend <laughs> recommend getting curry in your, um, kind of your like schedule, your flow, your 
your roster. I don't know what word I'm looking for. Your, your routine, getting in your routine. If people have like their staple meals, like their go-to meals. This should be in, in the rotation. That's what I wanted to say. You should probably eat this every two weeks is what I want to say, at least. And it, when it's like winter and fall, probably once a week in my opinion. Dude, Mix up the meat, get one light beer each. It's been a long day, y'all. Uh, gravity's weird. Mmm. Yeah. Not overcooked. That is, I'm not gonna say perfect, but that's that's pretty good. That's like eight and a half to nine. So the other thing about this, whether it's the Serrano's or the packet, it's not like that bite and you're like, oh my God. And you're like, this isn't that bad. And it kind of lingers. You can't see my nose is running. Back of uh, my mouth is like salivating, but it's cold. Like you want to have this like warmed up sensation. What I'll say about the meat is this is very good. I'm saying it's like an eight to a nine. The curry for me is about the curry itself on the rice, those like those nice potato chunks with a little maybe crunchier or more al dente carrot. So that's what curry is about to me. Obviously, if you have fantastic steak in this or like ground meat, or in this case, this chicken's pretty good, it adds to it. I just don't think it's necessary. It wasn't that much more work. You saw me kind of swing it pun kind of intended it's a thigh, but I'm just advocating for, for curry. We haven't made a homemade recipe. I'll, I'll throw in some recipes from like Serious Eats or something. s and is legit. I love this extra hot one. I would caution you to not get like a budget one or like we go to the Korean market, there's like Korean brands, even though, oh what's the God. brand called like Vermont? It's yeah, something super random. It's terrible. When things are, it's like messing around with ketchup or peanut butter. like. Stick with what you know. Stick with the people that have been doing it for like a hundred years, not the people trying to do it for like seventy-five cents less. There's get the Heinz. There's a reason. Don't don't mess with certain stuff. I will say the chi the the skin could be better. Sorry, that's probably grossing people out. And that's just more about being patient and crisping it up in the beginning. Don't know if you can tell. I'm not like really a patient dude. Let's sip some kimchi. I hope this doesn't freak people out. These um, so melchi's obviously well maybe not obviously it's a Korean word. It's a Korean dish, little baby anchovies, toasted black sesame, sesame seeds, and then they cook the anchovies down in like alcohol to get rid of the smell. These remind me of Indonesian or Malaysian food, like um, nasi lemak, or just like the little stuff you eat with rice. And it's just so comforting. It's, it's kind of seafoody. It's salty, but it's so good especially with rice. Love just eating briny, salty, pickled things. It just like elevates this so much. And wine makes everything better. That's true. What do you think about the wine? It's a lot better than I expected, in my opinion. You expected it to be bad? It just says red wine. I don't know if it's like underplaying itself, but it's pretty yummy. And Paso Robles. <clears throat> yeah, that's what we tasted in last week's video. I'll throw that in the link above, but yeah, um, this I'm rabble is really good. The spice level is catching up. My nose is running quite a bit. Look. That pain to enjoy. I'm happy with the chicken the more I eat it. So tomorrow, I think we're gonna do like chicken katsu. So like, like get the skin off, debone it, panko, flour. I think we've got rice flour, kind of light fry that. And we've got this grapeseed oil from this other thing. And uh, maybe make like a lemony sauce and then do sushi rice. So that's on the dock tomorrow. We might get lazy. I've also got sausage I need to do something with. They're on sale, they look awesome. So the more you know. Uh, how'd this get there? I will say this is the first time or one of the times I garnish with green onion. And that is something very simple that is doing a lot. So that is something I recommend if you're trying to mildly up your curry game. Yes, this is coming from a guy who uses a box, but it's good. They know what they're doing. One day, try my own spice, spice blend or something. But until then, S&B, what, three, four dollars for what what yields two dinners and this always yields leftovers so yep. people that are bored or people that love to cook or like if you wanted to make this even more of an activity yeah that's there's nothing wrong with that but it's like two what is sitting yeah it's tuesday and you're like working and busy and stuff and it's cold and you just want a nice like hearty meal and all you have to do the other thing i love about this is most people have rice on hand and then whether or not you have potatoes or carrots and stuff that's something you just just Think about it at the grocery store, pick up those two things and you're good. That's all you need. The packet, rice, potato and carrots, and, and you're good. If you want to add a protein and onions, sorry, and onions, and then also the green onions or scallions because I'm pushing that, but you don't need to worry about all the banchan or having anything pickled. It helps, but not necessary, my friend. Is this a chopstick redemption from, oh no, it's not. She's being haunted by the pho video. Reload. 
Thanks so much for hanging out. Happy Vlogmas. We'll keep this going. We're about halfway through this beautiful month of December. So thanks so much for hanging out. We'll be back tomorrow with another video. <laughs> Can you see that curry? Yeah. This way. Oh, do you want the wine in it?